The first selfie was this reflection of Narcissus. He contemplates his reflection in the water, thinking that that reflection belongs to another person with whom he falls in love. But at the same time, while this is happening, Echo, the nymph, is trying to reach him through words. And those words go back to the stone. So this show is about the idea of selfie, not necessarily about selfies. What is the status? of self-representation today. The axis of the show is set between two paintings. One, which is the one that I have behind myself here, which is a painting by Antonio Diaz from 1968, that reads Soul Portrait. And the other painting is a blind painting by Tomi Otake from 1961. So both paintings represent an obliteration of images. In a way, we can state that there is no image in both paintings. So that would be the absolute form of image being overwhelmed within their own processes. Alongside these two paintings, the audience will find photographies and paintings and collages and series by artists such as Paolo Bruschi in a series of sequences of his own face regarding, I mean, vis-a-vis -vis the Xerox photocopier. Vasco Sinetar, who is a Venezuelan photographer, practicing selfies alongside famous people since the 1970s. Cao Guimarães, a Brazilian photographer who had produced a series of pictures where faces are erased or hidden. Milton Machado, a Brazilian artist, with a series of photographies of an ideal face by Michelangelo, where the tiny lights of the camera are reflected, like a trace of a self-presence. And, you know, around these uh, questions about self-representation, there is the figure of Sigmund Freud, uh, which is a major reference for the modern theory of narcissism. Randomly installed within all these works are collages by Andrés Severo, a young Brazilian artist. I liked to introduce this kind of random presence of small collages because the ultimate limit of self-representation is the opacity of our own body. And there is this drop of blood in those collages. There is this radical presence of self which is abstract. I ultimately included a picture by Vicente de Mello, a Brazilian photographer, where he takes his selfie as a shadow, as a faceless body, which is also an image that is being erased. As if selfies would provide a shadow of ourselves. I hope it's just a text for thinking and for reflection about that aspect of our contemporary life and to recall us about the necessity of that uh, slowness of images, of that uh, silent, uh, critical effect that great uh, uh, words of art could have.